wheat, white, gluten-free, sliced, loaf, bread, bread. So the bread is a huge important part um, that could be not only is it affordable and it might be given to them or it might be subsidized in some sort of a way, um, but it's a huge way for them to get enough nutrition, have a very um, balanced um, a, a diet so that they can um, fill in those gaps of what they might be missing. Last year, 14.5% of Chicago residents were reported in poverty. On the outskirts of Chicago, Lisa Haskins manages the Harvest Food Pantry. I um, usually try to take the whole truck. Every Wednesday from 6 to 8 p.m., they open their doors to about 150 families, providing them with everything from vegetables, meat, canned goods, and of course, bread. I, there's, there's no... I see no difference between myself and someone coming through the food line because at any given moment, you know, your life can change. Keep on adding to the box. Like a family night and their admission to the um, the family night was to donate a non-perishable food item, go and do things uh, in their neighborhoods, you know, for service projects. Um, it is frustrating sometimes, uh, and, and that people think about serving only at Thanksgiving and Christmas, when we eat every day of the year. Damn, it's a product that we can't give away. helps with the rescue food delivery every Wednesday morning. Can't serve that. Nothing wrong with it. But would you eat that? Look at the color. I'm not I'm not gonna serve it. I wouldn't serve it to my family, I'm not gonna serve it to the patrons. They have a great deal of respect from, from us, you know. They're just like their their families. They have, you know, they watch the same TV shows as we do. They you know too with regard to food pantries or other kinds of subsidies that they are getting bread it's a huge important part of their life because it fills you up but when it fills you up um, that also helps with satiety so you actually feel the feeling of fullness and that's a big goal because a lot of times people might be eating things but they're never feeling satisfied or full so right so if you don't feel satisfied you don't feel satiated you don't feel full it's hard to even think a lot of times so that's another great thing about um, bread that can kind of um, loop in all the other nutrients that you're eating and then it'll actually make you feel satisfied. This is all, um, this looks like a lot of buns and those no-bake, the little twice-bake thing. For 20 years, Dave Mueller and his group of volunteers have met twice a month at St. Zachary's Catholic School to make sandwiches to be distributed to families throughout the greater Chicago area. Um, with being able to function in society, um, eating a sandwich and not eating a sandwich, whether um, someone's trying to function, it makes a big deal. So if someone's gonna skip a breakfast or not eat, it's hard to think. The only thing that your brain feeds off of is carbohydrates. So from that slice of bread, they're getting, again, all the macronutrients, so the, the protein, the fat, and the carbohydrates. They're getting a whole slew of the trace minerals um, that are very important, not only for sustenance, but for the well-being and prevention of a lot of diseases. And I know how many loaves of bread to get. Uh, it should be 17, but I always buy one extra one. We try to get wheat bread. 
it's more healthy. I mean, I don't think anybody that eats the sandwiches cares. You just want the food. I mean, what happens is one or two people will be here putting it in a bag. <laughs> and then one of them will start stuffing the sandwiches in those bags. And then usually I'll put them in the boxes and put them away in the freezer, in the refrigerator. Not freezer.